everyone welcome to another episode of today's gk i am pooja devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims so let's begin with the practice question of last segment which of the following ministry decided to set up a digital intelligence unit or diu ministry of science and technology ministry of home affairs ministry of communications or ministry of housing and urban affairs so i hope you can logically deduce this question Ministry of Housing Affairs is out of the pictures because, of course, it deals in housing and urban affairs. Also, if we talk about Ministry of Home Affairs, now it talks about intelligence, which is digital in nature. So, digital intelligence means digital information. So, I hope now you have a little narrowing down of options. So, you have to choose from A or C. So, the correct answer to this question is. C that is Ministry of Communications right so if we talk about this digital intelligence unit recently the Ministry of Communications has decided to set up a digital intelligence unit as a nodal agency to deal with complaints of unsolicited commercial communication unsolicited means unwanted commercial communications and cases of financial fraud especially in the digital payment space so apart from the diu a telecom analytics for fraud management and consumer protection will also be set up at all the 22 licensed services area levels moving on to the first question consider the following statements with respect to securities appellate tribunal or sat the presiding officer of sat shall be appointed by the central government in consultation with the chief justice of india or his nominee the function of sat is to hear and dispose of appeals only against orders passed by cb or by an adjudicating officer under the cb act 1992 so if we talk about these two statements here now it says the presiding officer of sat that is the appellate tribunal appellate means appealing so appealing to you can only appeal to a judge of course so there is a, a relation with judiciary for the first statement so that could be true and if we talk about the second statement it says it only and only respects the or uh, disposes of the appeals related to cb so i have al already told you when the usage of word only is there it's kind of almost negative so which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two neither one nor two the correct answer to this question is a that is one only only the first statement is correct moving on to the explanation act is a statutory body established under the provisions of section 15k of the cb act 1992 what is a statutory body a statutory body is a body that draws its power from any kind of law passed by the parliament or a statute passed by the parliament all right and act it consists of a presiding officer and two other members the presiding officer of act shall be appointed by central government in consultation with the cgi or his nominee so that's correct it has the same powers as vested in a civil court keep that in mind and further if any person feels aggrieved by act's decision or order can appeal to the supreme court its function is to hear and dispose of appeals against orders passed by cb or by an adjudicating officer under the cb act 1992 also to hear and dispose of appeals against orders passed by pension fund regulatory and development authority and to hear and dispose of appeals against orders passed by insurance regulatory development authority of india moving on to the next question in the context of the chisti sufi order consider the following statements it originated in india in the state of rajasthan nizamuddin aulia established this order leaders of this order led luxurious lives and held important government positions so if we talk about the first statement we do know that this particular movement did not at all develop in india right first is that that's for sure second nizamuddin aulia came much later as a sufi saint and is when the sufi saint was already established after many years nizamuddin aulia came into the picture and of course if we talk about the third statement it's self explanatory or self cancellatory nature they did not lead any kind of luxurious life they led very simple lives and they kept away from the government position so which of the statements given above is or are correct 
1 and 2, 2 and 3, 1 and 3, none of the above. The correct answer to this question is D, none of the above. So the Chisti order originated in Persia and Central Asia and the first saint was Abu Ishak Shami. He established this order in Chisti e Sharif in Afghanistan and the most important saint was Moinuddin Chisti who died in 1236 in Ajmer and his resting place in the Ajmer Sharif Dargah in Ajmer, Rajasthan. He made this order very popular in India. This, that continues to this day. And another important saint of this order was Nizamuddin Aliyah who died in 1335 at Delhi. And saints of this order mingled with people freely and lit austere lives. Moving on to the next question. With reference to fuel cells, consider the following statements. If pure hydrogen is used as a fuel, the fuel cell emits heat and water as byproducts and these can be used for powering buildings and not for small devices like laptop computers. And fuel cells produce electricity in the form of alternating current. So you have to choose the correct answer from these statements, from these options 1 only, 2 and 3 only, 1, two and, one and 3 only and 1, 2 and 3. So if you look at this particular question, you can see that yes, hydrogen definitely emits heat, pure hydrogen and heat and it of course gives heat and water as a byproduct. That is why it is used in so many power generation cells. And if we talk about the second statement, it says that it can be used for powering buildings and not for small devices. This is not true. Hydrogen, pure hydrogen fuel cells can be used, fuel cells can be used for powering small devices as well. That is why it is so sustainable in nature, it is so affordable in nature and fuel cells produce electricity in the form of alternating current. So the correct answer to this question is A, that is one only, only the first statement is correct, rest two are false, moving on to the explanation. Now fuel cells and batteries, they convert chemical energy into electrical energy and are very useful forms of galvanic cells and it produces electricity in the form of direct current and not alternating current. A galvanic or voltaic cell is an electrochemical cell that converts chemical energy into electrical energy through the redox reactions that occur within the cell. If we talk about its benefits, it is beneficial because it emits low and a fuel cell operating on pure hydrogen emits zero emission at the source. High efficiency because fuel cells create energy electrochemically and do not burn fuel, they are fundamentally more efficient than the Combustion systems. Hydrogen can be produced from domestic resources, eliminating the need to import foreign oil and it can be used for small devices like laptops. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements with reference to the New York Convention recently seen in the news. The convention was adopted by the United Nations following diplomatic conference held in 1958 in New York and India is a party to the convention. So, which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one or two. Now this is a factual question. The correct answer to this question is C, that is both one and two, both the statements are correct. Recently, Cairn Energy has filed a case in accordance with the New York Convention in the USA District Court to enforce a USD 1.2 billion arbitration award it won in a tax dispute against India. And if we talk about what is arbitration, arbitration is the assigning of the case to a third party who is neutral and unbiased in nature in order to negotiate, put a, nego a negotiation or reconciliation between the disputed parties. Alright, the Convention on the Recognition and Enforcement of Foreign Arbitral Awards, also known as the New York Arbitration Convention or the New York Convention is one of the key instruments in international arbitration. And it applies to the recognition and enforcement of foreign arbitral awards and the referral by a court to arbitration. The convention was adopted by the United Nations following a diplomatic conference held in May and June 1958 at the UN headquarters in New York and entered into force on 7th of June 1959. And the convention has 166 parties and India is of course the party to the convention. The convention's principal aim is that foreign and non-domestic arbitral awards should not be discriminated against by the courts. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements with reference to production-linked incentive scheme. PLI scheme is confined only to the electronic sector and the scheme will be implemented by the Ministry of Finance. So if we talk about the first statement, here again the word only is used. 
and will this be implemented by the ministry of finance it was announced by the ministry of finance in order to boost the manufacturing sector so think about it so which of the above state sentences is or are not correct one only two only you have to select the statement which is not correct okay one only two only both one and two neither one nor two the correct answer to this question is c both one and two both one and two statements are not correct so the correct answer is of course we will find in this explanation pli scheme is an output and outcome oriented scheme where incentives will be paid only if the manufacturers make the goods and the scheme will give cash incentives for 5 to 7 years and all sunrise and important sectors are proposed to be covered in this if we talk about the sunrise sectors they are promising sectors they are new in nature and they need some kind of financial assistance to expand and grow and these sectors could be including automobile networking product food processing advanced chemistry and solar pv manufacturing so the pli scheme will be implemented by the concerned ministries and departments and not some centralized ministry all right moving on consider the following sentences about general agreement on tariffs and trade it became the only multilateral instrument governing international trade from 1948 until the wto was established and it aimed at re reducing tariffs on merchandise trade so which of the above sentences is or are correct one only two only both one and two neither one or two the correct answer to this question is both one and two both the statements are correct so the gatt traces its origins to the 1944 bretton woods conference which laid the foundations for the post world war two financial system and established two key institutions that is the imf and the world bank and it became the only multilateral instrument governing international trade from 1948 until wto was established in the year 1995 and gatt was signed by 23 countries in geneva in 1947 it came into force on january 1st 1948 with the following purposes to phase out the use of import quotas and to reduce tariffs on merchandise trade moving on to the next question merger treaty schengen agreement maastricht treaty are related to wto united nations framework convention on climate change european union and world health organization the correct answer to this question is c that is european union so european union is a group of 27 countries that operate as a cohesive economic and political bloc it grew out of a desire to form a single european political entity to end centuries of warfare among european countries that culminated with world war ii and decimated much of the continent the union has developed an internal single market through a standardized system of law that apply in all member states in all matters where members have agreed to act as one and some of the important treaties if we talk about related to it are european economic community merger treaty that is from 1965 brussels schengen agreement 1985 single european act 1986 and the maastricht treaty that is from 1992 Moving on to the next question consider the following sentences about the recently launched each harmony portal so it aims to facilitate ease of living and ease of doing for the residents of the cantonment boards across the country and the portal will initially provide online municipal services only to defense personnel moving on which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two neither one nor two the correct answer to this question is a that is one only so as you can see the second statement again has only in it right so what did i tell you about the sentences carrying the word only they are mostly false all right moving on let's talk about the explanation each harmony portal has recently been launched as an online portal and mobile app as well to facilitate ease of living and ease of doing for the residents of the cantonment board across the country and this portal will provide online municipal services to more than 20 lakh citizens across all 62 cantonment boards of india while sitting at home moving on to the next question consider the following statements the wholesale price index measures changes at the producer level the cpi does not capture changes in the price of services so 
which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two neither one nor two so as we see wholesale price index wholesale price that means factory price that means manufacturing price or the producer level price of course the first statement is correct what do you think about the other statement moving on let's choose the correct answer from one only two only both one and two neither one or two the correct answer to this question is a that is one only the wholesale price index tracks inflation at the producer level while the cpi captures changes in price level at the consumer level and wpi does not capture changes in the price of services but cpi does because consumers are of course not only consuming goods but also services so that could also be a hint for you moving on to the next question which is the first african country to sign a comprehensive economic cooperation agreement with india south africa kenya mauritius rwanda the correct answer to this question is c that is mauritius the comprehensive economic cooperation agreement is a kind of free trade agreement between india and mauritius and this agreement is india's first such trade agreement with any african country moving on to the practice question for our next segment energy transition index is released by international energy agency world economic forum unf triple c world trade organization so i hope you'll be able to answer it correctly in the comment segment that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching